What's up, everybody? Dog Nation. Wednesday night. That means before the hedges. And you guys know when Georgia got a commitment on Friday, you check your watches, you know the clock calendar rolls around. And when Wednesday comes around, 8 p.m., we got before the hedges. And of course, we wanted to make sure we try, we found a way to get Donovan Westmoreland, the Griffin High Bear, recent Georgia commitment. He's in the house tonight. Now, you know how, it, how it's going to go. We're going to talk a little bit. We're going to do that reporter interview type thing where you can learn a lot about Donovan. And then, hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. We're going to talk about all things Donovan. You got a question. You want to know what, what's his favorite PS5 game? You want to know what his favorite type of chicken wing is? You want to know what his favorite movie is? You want to know who he wants to play with? All that stuff. You can ask him right here, right now on Before the Hedges on DogNation.com. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. I hope you guys are having a good night. And Donovan, the man of the hour in Before the Hedges tonight. Donovan, you've been a Bulldog for about four days now, man. What does it feel like? Are, are the girls looking at you a little bit a little bit nicer now? Or are you getting a, more, a lot more people coming around the workouts? What's it been like to be a Georgia Bulldog commitment since Friday? Yes, sir. The girls be here and there. I just be getting a lot of, a lot of respect. A lot of people, they notice me. They be telling me, hey, they like, they, they, they excited for what I'm doing. And they telling me to keep going because it's only going to get better. So, so let's, let's just jump into all this right now. So, Donovan, if I would have asked you two weeks ago and I'd have said, Mr. Westmoreland, you're going to be committed in two weeks. What would you have said? What would you have said? I'd be like, man, I wouldn't believe it. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be shocked. So, so guys, 6'3", 210. Uh, I think 12 sacks last year, if I got that right, about 80 tackles. Mm-hmm. You you had a position switch where they turned you from a, you know, stand-up backer, maybe an outside backer, inside backer, and they said, you know what, son, let's not overthink it. You can go get that quarterback on the ground. We won't turn you loose. And that, and it really like everybody knew you had ability. You can see that from your sophomore film. But I saw a great progression from sophomore to junior year. Did did you figure out? Did you find out that that was the best thing to do when you got kind of turned loose as a junior? Yes, sir. I just I've been working hard the whole summer. I ain't know which position I was gonna play. That just told me like like I think like it was towards going to the first game of the season because we know we're gonna play at first. So I just kept working. I was working at linebacker and edge rusher at the same time so I can be prepared for whatever position I'd be put in. So I was just working, and it paid off. Look at him. I bet I bet he, this young man hadn't stopped smiling since he committed on Friday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Donovan, I got a bunch of stuff to unpack here. I think the first thing, though, I thought was interesting. You want to know what modern recruiting is like during a pandemic? This is how – Donovan came to be a dog, and I'm going to try to go through this pretty simply. About two or three weeks ago, his coach, Kareem Reed, shout out Kareem. Uh, it's funny, he had players like committed to Georgia when he was down in Florida, and then he moves to Georgia, and he's at Westlake and Griffin, and now Donovan is the first guy that um, ends up committing and going to Georgia out of the Griffin program, but he he got with him, and he said, listen, kid, um, man, this pandemic, I don't know when visits are going to happen. I don't know when you're going to get your spots and slots maybe get filled up. So he, he basically, which I thought was pretty wise, he said, Donovan, who likes you? Which schools are really reaching out? Which schools are really lighting you up? And he, Donovan gave him a couple of schools and he's like, all right, those are the ones you need to focus on. And then that's when it got real for you, maybe like two weeks ago, right? Yes, sir. And then what happened from there? How did you go from, let's figure this out, and then you became a bulldog. I think, I think what happened is you took a virtual visit and you got off that visit and you're like, and, and folks, these virtual visits are going on like, like the Chick Fil A drive through right now with Georgia. They got everybody coming in and out. There, there is a momentum close right now for the 2022 class happening right now. But you, you went through that Zoom and normally people are like, you know, come back in a week or talk to mom or dad. You almost wanted to commit right after that thing, right? Yes, sir. It just felt like home. Like everything they showed me, it was beautiful. Like the weight room, the field, like how they how they gonna progress me as a man. Like it was it was amazing. I loved it. 
what happened after that? So you get off the Zoom and you do you go to the kitchen table with mom and dad and get the legal pad out with like pros and cons, or do you just sit there and you go like kind of like a pass rush? You're like, man, why do we need to wait? Well, I mean, that, that's kind of how it came together, right? Yes, yeah, sir. So I was just talking to God and he was like, I just prayed to him. He was like, this is it right here. He like, make your move. So I just I just made my move and they got a lot of good pass rushes coming out of there going to the league. So I was just like, this is gonna be a great fit for me. And I know I can go in there and potentially at least get playing time my first year. Now let's see, I want to make sure I get this right, because everybody knows this. They look at you know, that's right, Donovan knows about Leonard Floyd, he knows about Lorenzo Carter, he knows about uh Aziz Ojolari. He's like they're putting dudes in the league, and that's a good pipeline thing there. But then when he gets there, you know, you don't know if, you know, Adam Anderson's probably not going to be there. Nolan Smith's probably not going to be there. We're the only outside backer that can get And then it would be Donovan. He sees his lane. Yes, I want to know what I want to know what that was like, Donovan. So it was like you you do you call Georgia back like the next day or the next night, and you're like, hey, I want to commit. And what was that like? Can you take me through that conversation? It was like a Hour later, I texted him. I was like, "I'm ready. I'm ready to come home. I'm ready to be a bulldog." Was that Coach Lanning? Was that Coach Lanning? What did he say? Do you remember? Do you remember what he said? He was pumped. He started jumping there. Well, he was like, "Welcome home. You don't feel like home, Jay. I got you." You, you got you got to see that Dan Lanning coach committed to right? You got to commit to right? Yes, um, so, so, so then it's like, you talk to Kirby. You know, During the um, virtual visit, I had talked to him, like, at the end. Before we had got out of the room, he laughed at me. I talked to him. He was like, he liked the personality. He liked the way I was at myself. He like, heard good things about me. Like, I'm a little bit of a deal. Uh, everybody's watching your highlights they're playing right now what do you want people to know about that young man flashing with all those big plays like when you watch yourself on screen like what's going through your mind when you come out here time to eat or what what goes through your mind on the course of a typical play just your assignments your responsibilities what you have to do I gotta get the quarterback like I gotta I gotta try to have the quick reaction. I got to beat everybody off the ball. Like, I got to be first person to move on the field. Like, so nobody ain't moving my pace. I'm going to be able to get there in no time. Donovan, why was it Georgia? If you put, could put your finger on the biggest reason why you chose Georgia or what you like best now about being a Bulldog, what would that be? Like I said, like, they had a, a lot of good pass rushers come out the league. <laughs> And go to the league like very early. How uh I guess when you, when you look at everything right now, I want to know this. You know, this, this is a question I always ask a lot of great players. Um, for you, you know, what's the reason why you play football? Like, I don't care how much you love this game. There's been some point where maybe you woke up and you you had a bruise on your leg or your arm that was just uh, Crayola doesn't make a, a color for the bruises w- that you get sometimes through football or, you know, you're running gassers or you're running 100 and you're like, the <laughs> reason why you play this game for really hard and violent physical men. Is is to see my mama smile every day. Cause you know, it, it's it's it I am used to seeing that. 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 I am so far off the ball. To tell, to, keep, to tell him to keep my head right so I can just stay, do good, do good in class, and just do good on the field because it's all going to translate. Amen to that. Donovan, what do you want to study in school? Have you thought about your major yet? I want to do marketing, so like, like I know football, football not gonna last forever. So I'm gonna have something to fall back on. So I'm gonna have extra money. Like I'm gonna just save it up for the next generation, for my next generation. Donovan, how strong would you say this commitment to Georgia is? Is there any schools that are gonna shake you on this that you still need to see, or 
do you feel like your commitment is pretty solid and pretty locked down right now? I think it's pretty solid. Like going in, like it's gonna be a lot of top edge rushers. They gonna be leaving going into the league, so it's gonna be like a fresh start, like for the edge rushers. So I think I can just go in and do my part and get on the field. Donovan, what number do you wear? Is there a special reason why you wear that number? Yes, sir. I wore nine because my brother, like, all through Griffith High, first, my oldest brother, he played receiver. He wore number nine, I think his 11th or 12th grade year. Then my other brother, he go to Hutchinson. He go to a Juco college. He had wore number nine. Like, it followed down to him because he wore my because my brother wore it. And now I'm just wearing it. I'm just filling in the shoes. Mm, you know, big filling responsibility. In, filling in the shoes pretty well, I would say. Uh yeah. Donovan, can you enroll early out of Griffin? Or are you going to try to enroll and graduate in December and enroll in January, or can you do that at Griffin High? Yes, sir. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get done with all my classes so I can early enroll. Wow, that's great. Uh, now, Donovan, I'm going to look at. Uh, <laughs> Everybody was checking. They were here and uh, listening to your highlights in the video over there. Uh, uh, that's a you, know, you guys got a question for Donovan? You know, I got a couple more questions. You know me, I got a ton of questions. But, like, if you got a question for Donovan, you know, I'm going to go hop on Facebook. I'm going to hop on YouTube. If you want to know something about from the newest Georgia football commitment, you know, drop that in the comments on YouTube. Drop that in the comments on Facebook, and we'll be sure to get to you. Um, you know, David Williams just says, good evening, Donovan, uh, Jeremy Barbary. He's got, got so much game. He's got two E's on the end of his name. Uh, but he wants to know who do you pattern your game after? Uh, is there a guy that you, you think you maybe you hop on YouTube and you're like a little bit of that guy, a little bit of that guy, who do you pattern your game after? I got multiple people, like, underrated people, like, I got Yannick Nagakwe, he play on the Baltimore Ravens. I got Frank Clark. I got, um, I got Von Miller, Khalil Mack. I got, um, who else? I think that's about it. It's like, I got to, I be mixturing all that moves and stuff. I just add them all together in one. Yeah, that's funny because, you see, I asked Donovan's coach about it, and Kareem said, you know, you know, this is funny. You'll see this on our dognations.com story about Donovan soon, but, like, his coach coached Khalil Mack in high school, and I was like, now, listen, he name-dropped Von Miller. Dog fans are going to love to hear that. And he name-dropped uh, Khalil Mack. He said Khalil was a little bit thicker. He was about 6'3", 225 in high school, but Donovan's about 6'3", 210. But he's like that first step – that explosion, that natural pass rush. Uh, he says that's reminiscent of what he saw. And this was an apples to apples evaluation that, that you wake up kind of the echoes a little bit of, of, of Khalil Mack in high school when he watches you get after it and compete. Man, Kareem, Kareem throws around compliments like that, like manhole covers, man. It, it does not come easy. Like those sewer hole covers, man. But like, what do you think you've been able to do so far at Griffin to earn your coach's respect? Like, when they watch how you play and they evaluate you, what do they say? Uh, they they love me because, like, on the practice field, every day I go 100%, like, no break. Because in the game, I'm going to be full speed. I ain't going to never get tired. So every play I'm going full speed. I'm making my team better. I'm making everyone better because I'm really – I'm trying to win a championship before I leave. Uh, Donovan, what do you think when the Georgia coaches were telling you why you got the offer – and why they wanted you. What were they telling you they liked the most about your game? They like how I'm explosive off the ball and like how I'm getting to the quarterback. I'm physical. They just they love the they love the way I play. Lanny told you about Wolfpack, right? Did he tell you about the Wolfpack yet? You know, that's what they call the outside linebackers at Georgia. They call them the oh, yeah. Wolfpack. Yes, sir. Um uh, a lot of guys, a lot of guys notice in your film, they say you have a high motor. Uh <laughs> coach ryan andrews says tell him to stop asking me if he can play outside linebacker now see <laughs> coach andrews man we love you man one of the best high school football coaches in georgia i've known him for a minute uh and he he knows talent man he can smell a player from like three zip codes away and he, he's funny he's on the feed and he's like man 
I guess outside linebacker worked out for you a little bit, huh? Uh, Dustin wants to know the top three artists on your pregame playlist. I'm curious. Are we going to hear some Gunna? Are we going to hear some Young Boy? You're going to hear some Baby? Like, who are we going to hear? Number one, NBA Young Boy. He the GOAT right now. He the GOAT. Yeah. Then number two, I'm going to have to go with – I'm gonna go with Lil Baby. He, I'm starting to listen to him more. He, 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 five. And uh, number three, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Future, old school. Old school, I, Future, man. Yeah. I can't wait. In about another six months, Mask Off is gonna be the most coolest song on 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 on, on the Apple playlist by Future. Yeah, uh, Keith Simmons, he wants to know your size and speed. Keith, I know he's six three. About 210, maybe he had uh, some chicken wings tonight. Maybe he's 213, but speed-wise, Donovan, have you been clocked in a 40 yet or anything like that? Yes, sir. It's been an unofficial 40. I ran like a 464, 465. And, uh, Donovan, I got I to gotta ask you this. Uh, folks, you, you, this is what COVID-19 pandemic recruiting is like. Donovan fell in love with Georgia, committed to Georgia, Became a dog. Let's put some bass in that voice. Dog. He did all this off Wi-Fi and Zoom because he didn't go visit in March or last year. The last time you visited, tell folks about the last time you visited. It was a long time ago, right? When you yes, went to sir. a Georgia campus, when you went to a game, what was that? Eighth grade year? Yes, sir. I had one of my uh, Carver Road coach. You remember that game? Did Georgia win? Who were they playing? They were playing Kentucky before going to the um, playoffs. That was the last game before the playoffs. I think that was their last home game. So that was the Jake Fromm, Sony Michelle, Nick Chubb year, right, when they went to the Rose Bowl? Yes, sir. Well, that's a good team to watch. Uh, and then uh, we got a lot of guys uh, checking in. Uh, oh, man, that's some good stuff right there. Uh Don and I have seen this from a, like a bunch of people. Let me jump on. Uh, let me jump on. Keith Simmons notices your quick first step. Keith, that's right. All of us guys that crunch tape, that's the first thing you notice about Donovan is he he gets off the ball really quick, and that gives him a, gives him a huge edge. Um, but uh, Donovan, with everything that everybody's asking you, they want to know if there is there anybody out there like you know now you're the commitment. Now you're not the the hunted. You're the hunter. Is there a guy out there that you want to play with, that you want to talk to and get to come play with you at Georgia in the 2022 class? Is there a guy you played against this year, Griffin, where you're like, man, I got to play with that dude. I want him to come in Georgia and play with me. Do you got any guys that come off the come off the top of your head about that? You know, really good guys that you think could be good Bulldogs as well? My teammates most definitely because everybody hardworking. I got some – you got a young line, a young line that's coming in. It's a uh, he 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 finna be a upcoming sophomore. He almost, he like he my height. He quick off the ball. He gonna be he gonna be good as soon as he lock in. He he gonna be a dog too. I promise you. <laughs> and then you know with with it's funny because like he mentioned earlier his brothers, the Griffin High staff. You know this look at this young man six three two ten, future SEC pass rusher. They call him Junior. And, and for, you know, that's a, that's a sign of respect a little bit because your brothers, right. And your, your older brother is bigger than you. They're all, mm-hmm. they've all got their careers. So, I mean, like that's the nickname, right. You hear a lot junior, right. Especially from the coaching staff, right. Yes, sir. How does that feel, man? Um, they're all probably like, you know, young buck, little, 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 kid, little brother is a bulldog, oh. man. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. He back. We back. I'm I'm right there. I'm catching up to him, but he, he big. He don't got way bigger now. <laughs> Is there anything anybody has said to you recently? Family, coaching staff, people around Griffin. I, I would imagine Griffin is mostly a Georgia community, right? Like most of the people are Georgia fans, or maybe Georgia Tech fans with a little bit of Alabama. Was there even who was this number two school here, Donovan? Was there a school that was even close to Georgia, or like how close was it in your recruiting? I'll say Georgia Tech because, like, I was talking with Coach Coleman. He was, like, he would check in on me day-to-day, like, like a one-on-one talk. Like, he would just give me, like, he just give me, like, a quick conversation, and we hop off the phone. 
Yeah. Like he'll keep in touch with me. If he keep in touch with me a lot. <laughs> um bunch of people on uh Facebook weighing in. Henry Carter just says congratulations. Welcome to the G. Thank you, uh, do are you running track too, Kathy? Kathy, our, our good friend Kathy on the feed wants to know if you're running track too. You run track at all? What do you? What other sports yeah. do you play, Griffin? I, I run track and I think yeah, that's how I just run track and play football. I used to play basketball in eighth grade, then I just stopped. <laughs> Uh, Chad Buchanan says Georgia needs to stoke the flames on this 2022 class. Chad, you might get your wish. Uh, Keith Folds says your first step reminds him of Adam Anderson and Aziz Ojolari. That's pretty good. Have you watched Aziz's tape? Do you watch that guy and you think that could be me in about three years? Yes, sir. I know I, know I can get there. What's your favorite part of playing football, Donovan? I love, I like, I love the contact. I love contact. Like, I like him. <laughs> People are saying, get that boy. Kathy's really funny. Uh, Kathy, she says, put that boy on the hurdles. Get you on the hurdles, man. <laughs> <laughs> Athletes run track, man. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, D- Donovan, what, what do you think? When did you know, if you already know in your heart of hearts that you made the right decision, like when you wake up the next morning and you, you know, they, had, they have to get the edits together. That's the funniest part. So you tell them you're coming, and then they start getting your edits together, and then you, you tweet it out. I think you announced it at noon on a Friday. What was it like yeah. waiting to tell the world you were a dog? Was that What was that like for you? I, I still couldn't believe it. Like, I'm going to be – I'm going to go to a Division One school, like the Bulldogs, the team that I've been watching since I was little. Like, I, was, I couldn't believe it. It's just a blessing to me. Was that the team you represented growing up? Did you have a Georgia jersey? Did you have Georgia gear? Was that the school you liked growing up? It was it was close, but like the team I the team I like is LSU and Oklahoma. But I like I still like Georgia. I got a I got a workout shirt. <laughs> uh Kathy Weaver of Fuel says, You like to throw people down. Basically, yeah, he likes to throw people yeah. down. That's what a outside backer do. Keith Folds, uh Good friend of the shows, he says, my teacher friend at Griffin tells me Donovan is a good student and a high character young man. That's important to you, right, Donovan? Not just being a great player. Yes, sir. Mm. What do you got to get better at, man? What do you think you got to get better at? Like, okay, this is the 2020 model, uh, Donovan Westmoreland. We've saw on this film and everything. What is the 2021 model got to be like? What do you got to do to really be great your senior year? I want to. I want to come out even more explosive. I want to knock people on their butt. I want to get stronger, quicker, more twitchy. I just want to like. I want to be unstoppable. Like anything you throw against me, I'm gonna. I'm gonna conquer it. Hmm. Good questions. Facebook is like lighting us up right now. They want to know what's your wingspan. Have you ever had your wingspan tested? About how uh, how long your arms are from tip to tip. Have you ever had that checked? No, sir. Um, what do you think about – who's your favorite all-time Georgia Bulldog? Do you have one? Leon Hutchison has that question. Uh, I ain't really just had no favorite. I don't think I had a favorite one. I don't think Ooh. I got a favorite one. Lisa Jones, and she's got some style because she spells her name L-E-I-S-A. Lisa wants to know, can you dunk a basketball? I ain't tried it yet, but I know I, I know I can dunk it though. I ain't just tried it. Like... <laughs> Randy Clean wants I mean, excuse me, Randy Hall wants to know. I know you get in the weight room at Griffin High. Uh Kareem Reed has you guys eating forty fives, I guess, every morning for breakfast. But like do you have a he wants to know your uh best power clean. You got a good power clean? The power clean is two seventy. I just did it recently. Steve Highland says, love the excitement and joy on his face. Um, I got you. I got you a good I got a motivational story here. Donovan Brock Vandegrift, the, the 2021 quarterback who signed with Georgia. His senior year, he got 315 on the power clean, 310, 315 on the power clean. And that's the quarterback, man. That's the quarterback. So, 
You know, you know what that means, man. You got to, you got to put in that work, man. You got, you can't have be, be having quarterbacks. I would clean more than you. Um, awesome. Well, hey, hey, Donovan. I hope you've had fun. I know our viewers and and, and listeners and everybody have had fun getting to know you. The one comment I see over and over is the excitement and joy on your face. It it looks like, man, you just committed tonight. That's how happy it mm-hmm. seems like you are to be a to be a bulldog, and you know. You know, Donovan, let, let's go through it. I think we've got a slide. Donovan's a three-star. That stuff's going to change. I think he's the number 30 outside backer, number 490-something overall. That's on the 24-7 sports composite. He's a three-star. But Georgia had a huge need, had a huge need, still has a huge need, to get outside backers in this class, defensive line in this class. And now they've got a DN that's six foot six. It's kind of the big, long guy. And now they've got Donovan. Westmoreland, a guy that has that quick electric burst of a first step that can get to the quarterback as well, can affect the quarterback. He's the sixth member of the class of 2022 at Georgia. Griffin Highs, pride and joy. Hey, Donovan, hey, man, super job, really nice job. Thanks for having you with us, man. We could talk to you all night, but we got a whole show to get to now. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir, Donovan. Hey, man, be well and God bless you, young man. Yes, sir, you too. All right, guys, Donovan Westmoreland. He just committed, so you know we got to find out a way, you know, to find a way to get him on live with everybody so you guys can get to see and know the, the latest Georgia commit very well. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the way that we were able to bring it to you. Uh, so now we got to, like, run through kind of our show, everything we normally do with our show. You guys just had a great interview rep, great interview session there with Donovan. Uh, Westmoreland out of Griffin High, uh, well coached by you saw Ryan Andrews, you saw Kareem Reed on the feet on the feet, two very good dudes that really take care of the the stuff on the field and off the field with their program. Uh, glad to have Donovan join us uh, here today, representing Great Griffin High, the Griffin High program, and representing it so well. Uh, you're watching Before the Hedges. That's where we talk about all things Georgia football, Georgia football recruiting. Each week here, every Wednesday night on Facebook and YouTube. If you guys have liked any of the content you've seen so far, give us a like. Share it across your feed. That's my dog, Peaches. She must have liked Donovan a lot, a lot because when Donovan's camera time is over, here comes Peaches. Peaches wants some camera time as well. But um, as always, our show each and every Wednesday night is brought to you by Kroger. That is our great uh, kind of anchor, foundational Uh, Day one sponsor here on Before the Hedges on Dog Nation. Now's the time in our show where you've heard from Donovan. we got some more recruiting on the back half of our show. But right now, let's take some time and hear the latest message from Kroger. We'll get back to the show in just a moment. But first, a quick word from Kroger. Kroger has made shopping for the groceries and household essential items that you need even easier by offering free pickup. Just shop online. Choose a pickup time convenient for you, and Kroger will carefully pick out your order and bring it to your vehicle when you arrive. So the next time you're ready to shop at Kroger, take advantage of the free pickup. It's just another way that Kroger is fresh for everyone. All right, guys, there you have it. Brandon Adams talking to you guys in the morning, talking to you guys at night. You guys just saw Donovan Westmoreland. 6'3", 209, nation's number 34 outside backer, number 493 overall prospect. Of course, those rankings are going to go up as everybody gets a chance to evaluate that good junior film. First year at outside linebacker, I mean, he'd been a linebacker last year. He got moved to defensive end. Griffin High basically turned him loose, had 12 sacks, lots of offers, lots of interest, lots of great film against some very, very good uh, prospects. If you look on that, uh, junior film, you see Donovan picking up a, a sack against Alabama All-American Terrence Ferguson. Lots of really good guys. Lots of good competition there on his Griffin High uh, 2022-2020 fall junior season film. Got a couple things we want to roll through right now. I guess one of the newsier things of the day is 24-7 drop their final rankings. Well, they say it's their final rankings, but they've got um, everywhere outside the South is still going to have spring football for a lot of senior seasons for guys that didn't enroll early. But let's roll through some of the 24-7 sports. Uh, They're pure. This is the isolated 24-7 sports rating. Uh, We got some slides to kind of play along. But Amarius Mims, he's still a five-star. Nylon Green 
is a five-star for 24-7 sports. He moved up to the nation's number two corner, number 18 overall cornerback. Tyrion Ingram Dawkins, the uh, early enrollee, as well as Nyland Green, he moves up. He gets his fifth star. He's the nation's number two defensive tackle, number 19 overall. Smile Munden Jr. remains a five-star, number 20 overall. Undecided five-star Tyrion Arnold. I've been hitting about this, guys, for the longest time. Terry and Arnold moved all the way up on 24-7 sports to the nation's number 25 overall prospect, the number two safety. He's a five-star as well. Uh, those are the five stars for 24-7 sports on the 2021 cycle. You see some other guys that just missed it. Uh, they Brock Vandegrift is now number 33 overall. Kind of sounds a lot like uh, Brock, Dominic Blaylock's senior year where he was a five-star except in the, until the very last rankings. Brock Vandegrift is number 33 overall. Xavier Story Jr. is number 34 overall. Uh, Dylan Fairchild, number 42 overall. Brock Bowers, number 58 overall. Micah Morris, number 96 overall. You look at the 24-7 uh, sports composite, of course, that's different. We've got another slide to show you there. Uh, the 24-7 Sports Composite takes the ESPN rankings. Um, they take the Rivals rankings. They take the 24-7 uh, Sports Pure ranking, and they kind of, you know, mash them all up together. They, they put them in a blend, blender, and they come out with the 24-7 Sports Composite. In the composite, Amarius Mims is still a five-star. Barack Vandegrift is still a five-star. Number 16 overall, Xavier Sori Jr. is a five-star. Number 24 overall. Shmile Munda Jr. is still a five-star, number 34 overall. Then you see Micah Morris, number 63 overall. Nyland Green on his composite ranking is number 67 overall. He's still a four-star. David Daniel, number 94 overall. And Dylan Fairchild, uh, D-Y-L-A-N, if we spelled that wrong. Dylan Fairchild, number 96 overall. That's the rankings kind of juice that happened today where – you saw some Georgia football signees going up and going down. As we mentioned earlier, you also saw Terry and Arnold move all the way up to five-star status on 24-7 sports as the number two safety in the country, only behind James Williams, uh, number 25 overall. He, we've got another slide for that. A lot of slides today on a pretty loaded show. Uh, Terry and Arnold uh, out of John Paul Catholic in Tallahassee, really the only remaining uh, – top target for Georgia in the 2021 class. He's number one. He's been number one for a while, ever since Amarius Mims committed. Uh, let's take a look at the Georgia 2021 commits right now, just kind of rolling through a lot of paperwork here. Um, you see the guys that are enrolled. That's Mims, Vandegrift, Sori, Munden, Micah Morris, Nyland Green, David Daniel, Brock Bowers. We've mentioned all those guys. Lavassier Carroll, uh, he, his rankings dipped a little bit. I want to call your name, call everybody's attention to Jonathan Jefferson out of Douglasville, Douglas County. He's also at Georgia already. Remember, his father fought Klitschko for the World Heavyweight Championship when he was a professional boxer. He moved up 20 spots this week to number, um, I think he's number 129 overall. I think our graphic says 149, but I know he's 129. Uh, you see Dawkins again on his composite. He's number 144 overall, still a four-star. Four star. Chess, Chambliss, Adonai Mitchell, Marlon Dean, Javon Bullard, and Jackson Meeks. Those are the guys that are already in Athens. 16 guys are in Athens. That's the largest early enrollee mid-year signing class Georgia has ever seen um, in program history since early enrolling became a thing. You keep going down the list and you see uh, Fairchild. He's still wrestling. I think he's wrestling in the individual or team state tournament this weekend out of West Forsyth. Um, he is signed, but not enrolled yet. Jamon Dumas Johnson, Kamari Lassiter, another guy that move, keeps moving up just a little bit incrementally. And Jared Wilson out of North Carolina. Jared's going to um, play his senior year of high school football in North Carolina uh, this spring. We've got a breakdown. Everybody always wants to know in state, out of state. It's 10 to 10 right now. If Arnold chooses the dogs next Wednesday, can you believe the guys next Wednesday is the national signing day? Um, then that would mean uh, 11 out-of-state dogs, 10 in-state dogs. Uh, you got nine on offense, 11 on defense. I think Georgia's wanting to save about three or four spots for graduate transfers 
or transfer porter guys, portal guys, I would look for Georgia to look at the defensive back cornerback realm right there for a lot of their action in terms of uh, transfer portal guys. Trying to get an, um, another experienced defensive back cornerback for that secondary. Uh, we got a new addition for this week, and we'll get Donovan Edwards' name on there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that interview, by the way, here on Before the Hedges, brought to you by Kroger. Uh, let's look at the Georgia 2022 commits. There's currently six of them. Georgia is at number four nationally. I would say they're going to be climbing there pretty soon. Um, you've got uh, Dayon Bowie right there, uh, top-rated guy. He's an athlete. He'll be a cornerback at Georgia, number 24 at all. You've seen him this month with a couple of pylon or seven-on-seven -seven events. He missed his entire junior year with an, a, a knee injury. Now he's back performing very well. He was named an MVP type player, a recent national prospect, seven on seven camp. You got Tyree West out of Tifton, uh, nation's number five defensive tackle, number 47 overall. Marquise Groves Killebrew, uh, number 92 overall, another cornerback, CJ Washington. The ranking services have now identified him as an inside linebacker. He's the number six inside backer in the country out of Cedartown and number 109 overall. Uh, Darius Smith out of Applin County, 6'6", 230, uh, defensive end type, very long, great pass rusher as well out of Applin County. And then the, the lowest rated commitment in the class right now is the most recent commitment in the class. Uh, that's three-star outside linebacker Donovan Westmoreland out of Griffin. Great meeting and chatting with that young man tonight. Um, moving right along, we're just trying to just churn through this, guys, right now. Um, these are our top targets. This is version 1.3 um, for the class of 2022. Uh, we've added an additional name to our top targets, uh, Kojo Antwi. We wrote about him recently on Dog Nation out of Lambert High School in Georgia. He's a top 20 wide receiver right now. For me, I think he's one of the top 10 receivers in the country. He has that top 10 receiver type ability. Love his tape. Uh, he has a top eight, but he's told me that uh, – Kojo's told me that really – Ohio State and Georgia recently are the two schools that are really standing out to him amongst that top eight. Shamar Stewart, five-star out of Opelika, Florida. Number 11 is Travis Shaw out of Greensboro, North Carolina. Travis is the nation's number two defensive tackle. Uh, number 10 is the five-star defensive end linebacker, Jeremiah Alexander out of Thompson High in Alabaster, Alabama. Uh, Jeremiah is probably going to be a linebacker, inside backer in college if he stops growing. He's a former Alabama commit. Uh, number nine is Bear Alexander out of Ryan High in Denton, Texas, a recent state champion. Number eight is Brendan Thompson out of Spearman, Texas. Uh, you want to talk about fast. You want to talk about Miko fast. You want to talk about Arian Smith fast. Well, Brendan Thompson out of Texas has already clocked a 10.18 in the 100 meters um, as a junior. Folks, that's faster than McColl. That's faster than Arian Smith. That's faster than Keely Ringo. That's faster than Tyson Campbell, Eric Stokes. Uh, that's about as fast as anybody Georgia has recruited. He's a wide receiver, uh, would be a wide receiver for Georgia. Number seven is Daniel Martin out of Marietta. Love that young man's game. Um, defensive athlete type, can play outside linebacker, could also probably play some safety in red zone nickel situations. Um, number six is Gunnar Stockton out of Raven County in Tiger, Georgia. Uh, still think that Georgia is going to wait and see what Gunnar Stockton does before they make any decision about who's the next quarterback they're going to recruit heavily. Uh, number five is the three-star Branson Robinson out of Germantown. Uh, pretty good Germantown team in Madison, Mississippi. Super impressed with Branson Robinson, guys. I think he's a five-star in waiting when all the evals come back from his eight-game junior season. Very impressive. You watch him work. You see his physical frame. You see the power and speed he runs with. Um, Branson Robinson gives me kind of Nick Chubb vibes when I evaluate his film. Number four is Jalen Walker. Love Jalen Walker. George is in his top six. He's the son of a college head coach. Uh, wants to be an orthodontist one day. He's a nation's number four outside linebacker. He's a, he's a great um, basketball player. He wins dunk contest. Number three is Emmanuel Henderson out of Hartford, Alabama. Geneva County. We're going to talk a, lo a little bit him, about him later in the show. Number two is Mikel Williams. Same thing there with Mikel Williams out of Hardaway, Columbus. Big news coming out of uh, Mikel this week. And then number one on the list, again, 
It's Malachi Starks out of Jefferson. I hope you guys saw the story on dognation.com yesterday. We wrote in depth about Malachi and how he kind of uh, endured really a broken hand, um, excuse me, a broken uh, detached ligament tendon in his, uh, in his hand where his thumb kind of connects itself to the, to the rest of his hand. He was a quarterback in the Georgia State playoffs, um, running quarterback, but still threw it about 16 times, threw a couple touchdowns in the playoffs. Couldn't grip a football for basically five weeks. Showed a lot of toughness. Showed a lot of resiliency there. Malachi Starks is rated as an athlete. Malachi would be a safety should he choose to come to Georgia. Um, his, his top three, which I think is probably going to end up being a final three, that is Alabama, Clemson, and Georgia. Uh, Georgia is still very much making him a priority as well. Folks, that is everything we had to roll through for you today in terms of our uh, kind of our, our graphics and our slides. Now, the time of our show where we gonna, I'm going to point you guys out. I'm going to kind of bird dog what I would call, um, I always think of Brandon Adams' term for this, our online chatter, where we kind of look at a couple of tweets that are interest, of interest right now. Let's start with that one we kind of teased a second ago from Emmanuel Henderson. Folks, there's something in the water right now. All these 2022 guys are like, let's go, let's get it on, let's get going. Uh, Emmanuel Henderson uh, announces his commitment date. Uh, that's March the 13th. He's going to make that commitment. Emmanuel tells me there's really no certain reason why that he made that uh, date. It's just a great day for him and his family. Uh, I really think that decision there is going to come down to two schools. Um, Christian Miller, let's look at Trench King 2 on Twitter. Tristan Miller out of Cedar Grove, April the 13th. He's making his commitment. That's a defensive lineman that's really connected to Tyree West, really connected to Mikel Williams as well. As well. Mikel, William, Mikel Williams is another guy we have a, a, a Twitter announcement for over the last week. Mikel Williams, he's rapidly goosed his uh, commitment timeline as well. He told me he was going to do it in August. Now he's moved all that up. He's going to make, make his decision in um, – in March for his dad's birthday on March the 15th to honor his father. Uh, really, like you, you guys, we just went over that 2022 top targets list and look at that. You see Kristen Miller, Cedar Grove, he's ready to make his decision. Mikel Williams, uh, Hardaway High School in Columbus, he's ready to make his decision. Emmanuel Henderson, uh, state of Alabama, although he's from Columbus, his family is in Columbus, Georgia. He's ready to make his commitment. Uh, Georgia has been recruiting him as hard as any school. He's talked to Kirby Smart about nine times. They only talked to Kurt Saban twice, um, heading into January. Uh, only talked to Dabo Sweeney once. Um, Emmanuel Henderson is the nation's number one running back for 2022. You see a recent offer from Buford High School, Jake Pope. Let's pull that tweet up right now. Georgia just offered him last night, uh, earlier this week. I think Georgia, he told me Georgia offered him as a safety. He's got great film as a wide receiver and as a safety. He can play both sides of the ball from a great um, Buford High School program. Uh, let's pull up this tweet from Bear Alexander. I love this tweet from Bear Alexander because it shows you where his heart is, where his passion is. He is a uh, top five defensive tackle on rivals, rivals out of Denton, uh, Texas. That's Ryan High School. He's a state champion. Listen to this, folks. I'm busy trying to put my mother in a better position. So less recruiting talk, more of the discussing the actual plan. Uh, talking about his mom there. He wants to know how you're going to get him to the league and not just recruiting talk. He wants to cut to the chase. He shows this text from his mom. Haven't heard from you. Just be busy. I'm thinking about getting a second job before your football season starts up. Tired of struggling. It's hard to do this work, but it's convenient because you have one more year in school. I can take off whenever it's needed. Um, tells you what, what's on a young man's heart as he's heading into his senior season and about to make one of those bigger recruiting decisions of his life. Uh, we've seen the tweet here. That's the look at the commitment tweet here from Donovan Westmoreland. Uh, he said he would like to give thanks to God for helping me get to this point. Faced a lot of adversity in my life, but I persevered. I also want to thank my family and coaches for all their support and guidance through this process. I appreciate all the schools that have recruited me and extended scholarship offers. With that said, I'll be committing to the University of Georgia. He had his thoughts there on the notepad app with his commitment. And guys, I got one more tweet I wanted to show you. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna write about this soon. 
You guys, it's going to blow your mind. 2025, the class of 2025. Folks, this is crazy because my son is in the class of 2026. But this young man out of Oxford, Alabama, Anquan Fegans, he is an eighth grader. He has picked up an offer from the University of Georgia. Of course, Georgia got kind of a heads up on recruiting him because his older brother is a six foot two and a half cornerback out of the same high school, a four star. All the big boys in the SEC have offered him and are recruiting him. And they just got the chance through that connection to check out eighth graders film. Kids already six foot one, about 175 pounds. The coaches at Oxford High, I know those guys really well. Keith Etheridge and his group. They tell me they think he's going to end up 6'3 or 6'4. Georgia extended the offer. Georgia was the first offer there for Anquan Fegans. Man, eighth graders, class of 2025. Folks, my daughter is an eighth grader right now. That kind of blows my mind that there's a high school football player there uh, out there in America that already has an offer to play football from the University of Georgia. Of course, Anquan Fegans is going to be a national prospect as well. For, folks, for me, that felt like the fastest 22 minutes in the world as I tried to churn through all that material in a very lo loaded, um, very busy show. Um, you guys have any questions right now? I'm going to come back around to YouTube. See if you guys have any more questions, we'll see what we can do. Uh, Mr. Farrell, uh, Keith Simmons really liked that um, uh, interview there with uh, Donovan Westmoreland. Dustin had a good take there. He said, regarding uh, Donovan with 80 tackles and 14 sacks in that classification. No doubt he will be a four-star. Um, Coach Andrews got an invitation to come to morning workouts. Man, I'd like to be there, man. Uh, let's see. Um, anybody have any more questions? Jeremy Barbary, I think that answer is a yes, uh, sir. Um, let me see what Facebook uh, has to offer. Um, any questions as well? Here's the funny part when you're doing a live show. So I bounce back and forth with my phone. I'm running Zoom right off my laptop. Uh, got a really strong uh, internet connection going tonight. But uh, when you go back to uh, Dog Nation Facebook and you click on our feed, if you're not constantly tuned in, you guys will probably notice this from Brandon sometimes, but like if you're not constantly tuned in, uh, you'll have um, you have to wait for the um, you have to wait for the comments to catch up. Uh, Steve Highland makes up a point. Uh, I have to get Arnold in the house. Kathy, you already watching Fegan's film, man. I tell you, eighth graders getting offers, man. Uh, Mike uh, Zambiasi, man, thank you for uh, uh, the kind words right there. Um, Travis McCullough, Brett Hunter, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, yes. Yes, he is a 2025 recruit. Um, <laughs> Chad Buchanan says, no McDonald's Wi-Fi tonight. Chad, I've got the uh, Thunderbolt connection through my MacBook. I've got the Ethernet going straight into my router. I think I saw 495 uh, megabytes as my um, – that's my signal as I did my signal test before I got everything going. Um, you guys, hey, thanks again uh, for hanging out on another Wednesday night before the hedges. We got a special guest. We almost had two or three guests in tonight's show. I had to kind of give the recent commit the priority uh, expressway so you guys would get a chance to talk to Donovan and see that smile on that young man's face. Good hanging out with him tonight uh, on Before the Hedges on Dog Nation. Hope you guys have had a good week so far. I think there are good things up uh, coming up down the pike the rest of the week on dognation.com. Lots of news. Everybody saw the schedule drop. We've got cover four tomorrow. Brandon Adams in the morning. I hope everybody has had themselves a good Wednesday night. Um, Peter Joffrey Wilson. Guys, I think the, uh, the new uh, defensive backs uh, coach, uh, is going to is going to be good for Georgia. Get Georgia's staff somehow gets younger with a 38 year old defensive backs coach with five years of really good Power Five uh, coaching. I think the the thing for Georgia's 
next defensive backs coach is you got to be smart. Uh, you got to know the room. You got to be able to run the room. You got to be able to facilitate the scheme. You got to you got to teach the scheme, but you also got to connect with the guys. You got to connect with the players. You got to connect with the young men that you'd be coaching. Get them to want to play for you, um, and you got to develop them for the league. That is crucial. That is crucial. Uh, player development, I think, is the next way for Georgia. They've gotten players in. They've gotten guys in. Continuing to develop those high five-star recruits, those top 100 recruits in the top 50, top 60 draft picks, I think is the onus for any staff in the Southeastern Conference, but especially one like Georgia that recruits so well. That's something that everybody looks at when they look at the Ohio States, they look at the Alabamas, they look at the Clemsons and Georgias to see, yeah, these guys are raking in the players, but are they developing them to the point where, A, they can win games, A, they can win championships, but but see so they can get them in the league. I think uh, a lot of these players, uh, when they sign, they they think championships are great, but they want to be shaking Roger Goodell's hand really early as well and being a first day, second day draft pick as well. I think that's how they would label their college choice and their college decision as success when they wind up uh, going really high in the draft. Uh, those are a few thoughts, guys. Uh, I'll see you ag ag again. Uh, really shortly. Hope you guys enjoyed Donovan Westmore. And if you guys like the show, give it a like on all your social feeds, give it a share across your social feeds. As always, you can find um, uh, Before the Hedges on the Apple podcast platform. You can find it on Spotify. You can find it on SoundCloud. We're going to put this one especially on the dognation.com world famous flagship page. We're going to land a story on the aircraft carrier dognation.com. All those stories going in back and forth. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we put up that interview with Donovan Westmoreland on the page as well sometime tomorrow as well. So if you guys didn't get to join us tonight, you get a chance to join us then. Uh, for everybody here at Dog Nation, I'm Jeff Sintel. That's Michael Carvel producing our show once again uh, behind the Zoom screen. I'm Jeff. We'll see everybody later on the pages of DogNation.com. Have a great night. Have a great weekend, and God bless you, everybody. <laughs>